off to another country. What's up guys? We are on our way now to the secret location. Thank you. So one hour later, we are now landing in Calgary and it's literally winter wonderland. Look at this. So there's this like random person on airdrop and basically you can give them files while oh, they decline my request. <laughs> and I tried to feed them a photo. I sent them a PNG of Drake sitting. Victoria, if you're watching this, you just got popped. We are now heading to Frankfurt, Germany. Oh my gosh. We are in Frankfurt. This massive airport. Our airplane got here late because the Austrian ski squad was on our flight. And so they had to like stow all their skis below the deck after boarding was complete. It just like delayed us an hour. We almost didn't get the flight. Like we were the last ones to board basically like we just ran like 2k, maybe not 2k, but with all these bags, it feels like it. This will take us to our secret location. Guys, check it out. Pink sky, pink hair. This is how we're being welcomed. Into it's a lot of pink. This is 5 o'clock, guys. The days are so short right now. Gonna keep the cliffhanger. Or go watch. It's a Christmas Day miracle. Oh my gosh. Oh, how are you? There's the ride. We're in Estonia, guys, which is a country I'd never ever planned to come to. I just didn't even know anything about it. And so I'm so excited to be here. And uh, it's nice and chilly, actually. It's, uh, but I think it's one degree right now. This is like one of those things where we're coming in with no expectations, no idea of what we're gonna see, yeah. but uh, yeah, we're really pumped to be here. I guess I should tell you why I'm here too. Uh, the reason being, I'm actually speaking at a startup conference. The event is called Start Up. It's a play on words because it's in Tartu. I'm one of the main stage speakers. Definitely brings a new set of pressures, but I'm really excited to take on that, uh, that challenge. And Laura is actually hosting a workshop. I know, on social media. We made it to the hotel. Travel days are tough, but when you get to your hotel room, it makes it all worth it. Six and a half hours later. Hello, so we're at an amazing breakfast buffet right now. I'm very impressed. This is like extravagant. Very nice, yeah. Also, comment down below if you're Estonian. I don't really know any Estonians that watch my videos. So this might not be trippy to you, but right now it's nine o'clock, guys. The sun is just rising. And like when I looked out there, it looked like a painting because it didn't fit like what my mind thought would be outside. Hey, <laughs> you must be Robert. So this is the camera setup, and this is Robert. Robert, what do you do? Called uh, Radar, Radar. Radar, yeah. yeah. It's top 10 TV show in Estonia. Ah, cool. And I get to... One I'm tenth of Estonians are, uh, are watching it, so... Wow. Of all the population. Wow, this Bigger is a huge here. opportunity then. Yeah. Okay, guys, it's Lars' turn. Who's most, uh, more popular in uh, YouTube right now? You or Christian? Right now, Christian is. I'm ready to go on an Arctic expedition <laughs> or just, you know, go outside here in Estonia. Okay guys, I have to introduce you to two people. Hey this hey is guys. Hans and Ketter. Ketter. I had to say it like five He's times right. to get it, but I He's think right. I said it okay. I said it right. Yeah, so yeah. you guys are showing us around Estonia. Yeah, yeah we're, we're showing like the old town at the moment, but afterwards we're gonna show some nature. Yes, I'm excited about the nature. Cause, like yeah. for me, that's like what I'm yeah. really into. So where really are we going good. now? We're going to the old town. Old first. town, yeah. all right, let's yeah. check it out. Let's explore. And we've got camera crew today. Yeah, there's a lot of personality here. Yeah. I always love going to the old town of yeah, places because you get so much more of the culture. How old is Estonia? Do you know? Uh, Estonia. It's 98. Like 98. Yeah, 98. Uh, years. Actually, Finland turned uh, 100 years old today. Oh! So, yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday, Finland. <laughs> so, Kata? Kita? Keter. Keter. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, Kat Keter. 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 Yes. Keter. Keter. So, Keter actually studies in Finland. Yeah, for yeah. years now. So Finland is just to the north of Estonia, correct? It is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Two hours with a ship, so it's really close. Yeah, I heard people from Finland come get alcohol here in Estonia. It's true, it's true. It's cheaper here in Estonia. Ooh, this looks like the entrance to a castle. I love this. 
We have another guide here today to show us around in Estonia. This is Frank. Frank is one of the locals. He's uh, a little quiet, but he's still a good guy. Sometimes silence speaks more than words. Guys, so I can see speckles of snow coming down. We could be in luck here. I would love to see some snow while in Estonia. If you want to hear kind of like the basics of Estonia in 10 minutes, plus some fun facts, like the fact that they have the highest amount of sports models per capita. Well, check out the video link down below. What's your name? Helen. Nice to meet you, Helen. I'm Christian. But this area, why I talk about this here, because the black lines that we can see going on the ground here yeah. represent where houses used to be. So all of this was filled with medieval houses before the 44 March bombing. Wow. So, it's so this was all obliterated then. So that's St. Nicholas's Church. Basically, it was totally obliterated in 1944 uh, when the Russians had bombed this area. All of this was filled with medieval houses and yeah. we have nothing left in the area. And then this is what it looked like after? Right, straight after the bombing as well. And uh, the last, the third picture is sort of... We have so much history here that we're trying to share with you guys, but we're in a very big time crunch to get out of here because we have to head to another location quite soon. So the church we just showed you was built in the 13th century. So I think that kind of gives you an idea as to how old some of the stuff is here. And right now we're going through one of the medieval villages that was not bombed, so it still stands. Guys, this right here is the Christmas market. Oh, I forgot about Christmas. Look at that tree. That is one big ass tree. My hands are falling. I'm having a hard time talking, like enunciating words. Anou like what? Enunciating? Like word. Anou um, my hand. I didn't bring a glove. Horrible idea. I'm losing the feelings in my hands. Four built our council house, so it's 600 years old. Four non alcoholic uh, hot wine. Ooh. Do they have alcoholic hot wine? They have alcoholic hot wine? Whoa, okay. <laughs> no, no, I chill. Just, no, I just no chill. No, I just No chill. No. In this square, they put the first public restroom. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. 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 Yeah
I know, but at least I feel like I'm in Estonia. This is kind of how I pictured it. A bit whiter, but it's time to put on like three more jackets. All right, so right now I'm in a changing sauna because what we're about to do involves being outside. Look at this guy right here. Hello. Hi. Oh, are you a husky? You don't have a blue eye. What a beautiful dodge. This is Urki, he's from Finland, and he's coming with us on our tour. Yeah. Urki! Urki! Hi, Urki! So this is the Estonian starter kit. Headlamp, 15 <laughs> layers, and uh, a good spirit. Yeah! Ready for this? Okay. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Guys, this is called a kick sled. Alright guys, stay lit! Stay lit! Stay lit! Like are Estonian snowmen. Yeah! Oh, is that them right there? I like them a lot. Be creative when there's no snow. <laughs> I want to pick one. Super <laughs> icy. It's gonna be dangerous. <laughs> yeah, no fair. I want Urki. I don't know. <laughs> Trying to hold my vlog camera while doing this is not gonna be a possibility, so it's going away for now. You're in last place. Now that we're done with our ski sleds, what are we doing now, Laura? We're going to play disc golf in the dark. What's disc golf? Uh, disc golf, or yeah, we have these disc things. Golf? And then one of them is lit up, and then we throw them at something. Sure, it's only on the vlog. A little hard. <laughs> Do it for Estonia. Yes. So is that disc game we just played, is that popular here in Estonia? Yeah. It's becoming more and more popular. Not bad, it only feels like minus four in here. <laughs> Score. Let's go. Where are we going now? Now we're heading to Rockvere. One hour later. Here comes warmth. I'm gonna assume that's the women, because as far as I remember. Ah, I think they're a little bit worried about theft here. They're on to you, Laura. But it does sound that for the I got some duck. Bon appetit. Just keep swimming, swim, yeah. swim, 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 swim. I found ya. There you are. Just got back from the spa water side of the hotel and they've got like this full on like water park. Like I didn't bring my camera, but there was like a wave pool. We're going to bed now guys, cause tomorrow morning's another super full day. Like we're running so hard when we're here in Estonia. Like I don't know where we're gonna fit the time in to edit stuff and like get the work done. I'm gonna be speaking at that event in like two days and I haven't even started preparing what I'm gonna say. So uh, somewhere in the midst of all this craziness, I gotta figure that out. But anyways guys, it's time to go to bed for us because we are still a little jet lagged, but tomorrow we should be good. If you made it this far in the video, please leave it a big thumbs up and guys, have a good night. Let's get lost again tomorrow. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Fuck of the day.